In this question, we are given a table of sum x and y values, and we are going to write an exponential function for this. And notice that this is kind of similar to question number 7, and earlier we talked about that was for linear growth. In this case, let me show you why this is called the exponential growth. So, once again, we see the x values are just going from 0 to 4. Each every time, it goes up by 1. Nothing tricky, nothing crazy. That's nice. And now let's look at the y values. Look at this one, from 5 to 20. If you look at this as going up by 15, well, that's okay from here to here. However, it doesn't work anymore from here to here. If you add 15 to 20, you get 35. You don't get 80, right? So you have to look at this from a different way. Well, from 5 to 20, we know we can say from here to here, we can multiply by 4. And then, from 20 to 80, once again, we can look at this by multiplying by 4. And in fact, that's the pattern. Each, every time, we multiply by 4. Check this out. 320 times 4, we do get the 1280. And that's the same pattern, right? And this time, we are multiplying the same number over and over. The key is multiply. When you are multiplying the same number over and over, in this case, it is an exponential. And as you can see, the numbers are getting bigger because we are multiplying a number bigger than 1. Exponential growth because the numbers are getting bigger and bigger. And this is the difference between this table and the table from question number 7. This is not it yet, though, because we are trying to find an, exp an exponential function for it. Let's write down the general form. We have y is equal to sum number a times the base for the exponential. Let me just put on b and put that in the parentheses and raise that to the x power. This is the general form for an exponential function. And in fact, we know one value already. This is 4. We multiply the 4 over and over right here. It tells us that b is equal to 4. We know this right away. That's a base. Okay? Therefore, you know y is equal to a times b is 4 and then raised to the x power like that. Well, one more thing will be done. What is the a value? Well, we have the x and y values right here. Pick a pair, any one. I can use 2 comma 80. 2 for x, y is 80, y can use 4, 12, 80, up to you. But the easiest number to use will be this one, 0 and 5. So I'm going to just say, I'm going to look at this and drag it down. I will use 0, 5. 0 for x, y is 5. And now I can just plug in 5 into y. And this is equal to a, I don't know yet, times 4. And the x is Zero. Why is this so easy? Because we have 4 to the 0's power it is just a 1, right? So this is just 5 equals to a times 1. a times 1 is just a. So this is just 5 is equal to a. a is equal to 5. Same thing. Finally, the answer. Remember, whenever you're trying to write an equation or a function, the x and y states, and we're plugging the a and b values in here. So answer, it will be y equals to a is 5, parentheses, b is 4, and then the x is in the exponent. That's why it's an exponential function. This is it.